Hello everyone, my name is Nicole and I am a teacher in the Midwest and today we are getting started with classroom setup for the 22-23 school year. <laughs> Right now, I am sitting outside the United Art and Education store, which is the teacher store, what most of us call it. I don't know if it is like in the whole country or if it's just in the Midwest, but it's where most teachers around here go for your classroom needs. They have a lot um, of different variety of like borders for your bulletins, um, posters for your classroom, all that stuff. And today I'm looking for, it's called Better Than Paper, and I'm wanting a white wood look um, for just a couple of my bulletin boards. Now this paper is kind of expensive. It's like nearly $20 a roll. So come on with me inside and we will see what we can find. made it to my classroom and you guys may have noticed when I did that quick little pan of the room that there's literally nothing on the walls and it might look a little different from last year and that is because I am yet again in a new classroom so let's talk about that all right I've just plopped myself here on the floor here because I don't really know where all my stuff is yet but yes I am in a new classroom and that is because I am back to fifth grade yay i'm so excited last year was an adventure for sure and i am now looping up with my class to fifth grade which i had an amazing class last year so i'm so excited to have these kids again <clears throat> but i will go ahead and walk around the room so we can get a good before shot um before i start putting anything on the walls here. okay so here's the door where you walk in right to the right we have this built-in file cabinet that is amazing for storage um i have a little closet over there uh, i'll show you what it looks like it's not pretty but it's not awful either um yeah it actually doesn't have a ton of room in it because the file cabinet that is in the wall is right here if you can see it so it like stops um where that file cabinet is <laughs> Okay, so going right along, I have a bulletin here that will need to be done, um, and then my whiteboard, and then unfortunately above where my desk goes, there's not another bulletin board. So anything that I put up there has to just be like put straight up on the wall. But I do have some good shelving down here, just like my last classroom that you saw from last year. This bulletin board is way bigger than the one from last year which is helpful um, to put stuff up, but kind of very difficult to, to get paper on it. Coming around this way, more shelves, just like my old classroom. Um, and this is all my stuff in here. Um, 
near where it's supposed to go. So it's not gonna take me quite as long as it did last year. Um, bulletin on the ends and chalkboard <laughs> along the middle. This is like all my desk stuff, the stuff that goes up near and around my desk. So the cubbies are just filled to the brim because we can't have anything like out in the middle of the classroom. So yeah, there's all the desks and stuff, but back on the shelves, you can kind of see my stuff is back there. Some of our textbooks. Yes, and these cubbies are different than last year's as well. These cubbies, if you can see, there's like, they're more square. Last year I had all pretty much like this. Um, they were a little bit like deeper, not deeper, but up and down higher. Um, but now they're more like square. So that's always interesting to figure out how you're gonna fit kids in there. So yeah, and then we're back to the door to get in. So from the front of the room, just a quick little pan here. I'm really happy to be back in this room because I was in this room when I taught fifth grade um, because it's so much brighter than the other classroom. I just spent 30 minutes looking for a stapler and I know I told you guys I knew where my stuff was this time um, but I forgot where I had packed the stapler. I thought I put it in with all of my desk stuff, but I didn't. I checked a couple of my friends' classrooms and couldn't find theirs. And then finally I remembered I had this like little rolly cart that I had my math groups in and I had put the stapler on there cause I was stapling something. Um, so I have it now, but rule number one, scissors and stapler. You need to know where they're at at all times when you are doing a classroom setup. But I finally have it. I have my paper here and I'm ready to get this board papered up. what my vision is right now um, and I'm doing like a neutral ish boho animal print <laughs> theme it was a really cute package on TBT and next time I'm in I'll probably be putting up some of the stuff that I bought but here's the border that I'm using print is going along the top of my whiteboard so that's up next This is what happens when I come into my classroom I got distracted I was doing the borders everything was great and then I came over by my desk and I was like, I hate how it's set up. So I redid it and I undid all the plugs, and the cords, and um, it's still a mess, but let me show you what I've got. This is kind of how I had it set up last year um, where I was facing the door. And I liked that much better. But Here is when my crazy idea starts because I'm gonna walk up this way. So we've got this bulletin board, right? And then we go across and there's no bulletin board there, which I despise, but I can't fix that. What I can do is set it up to look just like that. I just won't be able to staple on it, but at least it'll look pretty. Um, and then I can just tape things to it because this better than paper is kind of like glossy. Um, and so I can just tape stuff to it and then that wall won't be so blank and boring. So that's what I'm going to attempt next. Taped. So now we just hope that it doesn't fall down. But I think it looks exactly like a bulletin board. Like you cannot even tell. 
I actually feel really good about what I got done today. I know it's not a ton, but we're still in June. <laughs> so some of you might think that I'm crazy, but I just know how long it takes with having to move your entire classroom. Um, but since I had to put up all the bulletins and stuff, I started super early. Um, I'm going to take this video and smash it in with the next time I'm in here. So it'll be like two days, but in just like one video. It's exactly what I did last summer and that seemed to work out well. So I will see you guys in just a moment. Hello, we're back for day two of classroom setup and I have some helpers <laughs> with me today. <laughs> They are dad, my husband is working late, so they came in with me. This is Lucas and Ava. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. So they're gonna help me today. So I said that I would be printing the things that I bought from Teachers Pay Teachers. This is um, the, like, the top of, the, of a calendar. And then I have all of the months that'll go at the top of the calendar. I have... Oh, jobs, kind of like a banner for jobs. It'll go across the top. I won't show you all of it because that would take forever. But as I'm setting it up, you'll be able to see. Like, I love this one, this dream one. It's so cute, so pretty. Um, so yeah, just a lot of that type of stuff all in here. All right, my goal for the next time I was in was to get this giant bulletin papered. So that's what... I'm gonna do next, and I'm probably gonna try and commission okay. Lucas. You think Let's you can help me, Lucas? Lucas. You think you can help me? I I'm gonna put paper on that big giant board up there. pretty straight but it's definitely not forgiving with like the air bubbles so I think I need to unstaple a couple places and just pull it tighter um, to get the bubbles out of there and then I still have a little bit left there I'm hoping that I have enough left in this roll um, to make it a full board but we will see up here I think I was able to get a lot of the bubbles out as well you can see um, you can't really see bubbles until it's like the spots where I haven't put the border up so I think the border helped because I was able to kind of pull the paper tighter if you're like me then you probably like the black and white border better with this um, I do like this one better with the white wood background but I don't hate this. I still like it. It's just that I need I need more cheetah in here because some of the products that I bought on Teachers Pay Teachers have cheetah print on it or like that kind of like that brown tone. All right, so here's just like two things I grabbed that have those brown tones in them. The dream poster. Um, and so I think that looks good with that color. There's gonna be a lot of these like cheetah print apples in the room. So I just wanted to make sure that these didn't end up looking random if everything was just like black and white border. Okay, so let's kind of talk about these shelves here and what my plan is because that's obviously a mess. So what I like about this space here is that it's far enough away from the kids to where they're not gonna ever be tempted to get into any of this stuff. Um, I went through a lot of tape last year and so this year I wanted to make sure that it was like down 
really behind me um and so it would be hard for the kids to get to i am absolutely loving the setup behind my desk there's a lot of room for growth of things which is what always happens as a teacher we get tons of extra things extra papers so there's a lot of space for me to put new things in there when I get them or if I have to file things whatever it may be um, but let me show you what the whole shelving unit looks like now all right so you've already seen this so from there this section here I kind of need to explain it I feel like so these two trays, I use one for currently working. That's like if I'm doing something with the class under the dock cam, we don't finish it. I put it in here so that I ha you know, can easily grab it the next day. As things come, um, come about that I need to file, I put it in there until I have time to actually file it or never. <laughs> Down here I have like teaching manuals. Up here, these are just a couple more of my supplies that sometimes I'll let the kids use, like my scented markers, like Mr. Sketch, and then the white basket just has some magnets in it. I already told you, snack bin. And then these are used for my back stock of copies. So the way I do copies is that I usually get with my team, we plan out the entire nine weeks, a quarter, and then I go and I print as much as I can ahead of time. Like, so sometimes I'll have nine weeks worth of copies if I'm really on top of it. <laughs> Most of the time, it's more like five-ish weeks of copies. So I have these bins here to put my copies in um, for, for like back weeks, if that makes sense. What I love about this is how it's so cleared out and there's so much room for more things because I know as I go through the rest of my classroom and continue unpacking that I'll probably find more things that need to be up here. But it just, I, I mean, the only thing it's missing is to all be the same type of container which I'm working on. I also got my new monitor in, and so there are a few less cords, um, but still a lot, and so I still need a solution for that. So if anyone has any good solutions for like crazy cords, um, just let me know, because I would take any advice or if you have any hacks on how to organize cords in a way that's better than this, that would be all right, we are wrapping up here in the classroom for this evening. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog with day one and day two. I've gotten a lot done um, and we're still early July, so there's still plenty of time to uh, get things done in here. I actually will be back in the classroom tomorrow, but I will have a student helper in with me, so I can't really record much, but I will record what I can. Um, and hopefully it'll be enough footage to get a second vlog started for you guys, a second video. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and you're getting some inspiration for your classrooms. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for your help tonight, guys. Thanks for your help tonight, guys. <laughs> they want to go play on the playground. All right. Then Ready? Go play on the Let's go. Let's go.